Hi everyone and welcome to Kismet Rising. I am sorry that I couldn't come to you last week with your weekly oracle guidance and uh, this week's a little bit late but I thought I would get it out there. And uh, for those of you seeking messages, seeing some kind of guidance uh, for the moment, um, if you have an, a question that's been bugging you that you need an answer to you, and you've tuned into this reading, well, um, you have three options, the option one, two, and three. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, shuffle these cards and lay out a card for you. And I'm going to channel a meaning um, for this card. So it's it's not necessarily going to have the meaning that the card has. And so I ask you to go on and uh, choose a deck that resonates with you and you may go down to the description box below where you will find the timestamp uh, for your reading and you can uh, go directly to your reading. So I'm going to go ahead and begin and uh, with the deck number one here. Uh, this is the call the Angels of Atlantis and so for those of you who've chosen this deck here and um, you would like to have an answer to the question to a question or simply some guidance um this is your answer okay so it feels i'm still Trying to feel what's right here for those of you who've chosen the deck number one. Okay. Okay, there we are. So that took a little longer than usual. Um, but we have the the, the card of Michael here and it says I am presence uh, that's the caption so the the most obvious um, explanation for this is um, that the Archangel Michael um, is referring to the presence uh, that the the energy that uh, resonates or not resonates that belongs to him or that is him um, is in your life and is present in your life. But aside from that, what I'm hearing here is that where are you present in your own life and um, how is it that you're present? So it's not about where you're present and as much as it's how you're present and how you recognize your presence in your own life. And this has to do with how you uh, come across to yourself and what you think about and where you escape to in your mind and how you wander off in your thoughts and how you your, your mind kind of goes down certain avenues um, of thought, of perhaps daydreaming or fantasies or worry. Uh, but how is it that we are present in that moment? You know, how is it that we are present to ourselves? So that's one aspect, right? So there's so many different messages I'm getting here for this card. The other aspect is, um, well, just general presence and being in the moment. And it's all related, but how can you bring yourself constantly back to that moment? What does um, I am presence actually mean for you? And what I'm, the message that I'm receiving here is that what I am presence means to you is how are you able to consume every moment of your life and all the experiences that you're having and still be present. And with it comes a feeling or a sense that you are completely one, completely whole, completely balanced, and that you're simply observing what goes on around you, that you're not having, you're not being pulled in, in a particular direction by a certain emotion or a feeling um, or by a certain motivation, but rather that you are present in that moment, regardless of what actually is going on around you, uh, and you are 
simply consuming, you know, like a Pac-Man kind of consumes uh, what is going on around you. And in a way that is uh, not detached, but not um, reacting to what is going on around you. So that is one aspect, right? But when it when you are in fantasy, you are in your dream world, you are in the, in the depths of your thoughts, how are you present with yourself in that moment? Can you also take a moment to observe where is it that you're going to and how is it that your thoughts are unraveling? How is it that you feel in a given moment when you are following your thoughts, when you are moving in a particular direction uh, within your mind? Uh, can you be present with yourself in that moment as well? Because with that will come certain revelations uh, as to your own motivations or deeper motivations or other subconscious um, kind of motivations or entanglements that you haven't actually allowed yourself to see or you haven't had the opportunity to see it as yet. Um, so the, that is the two ways, right? So in your mind and in the moment as, it, as you are in your life. And the other message that I'm hearing here is how are you actually present in, in, uh, in regard to others? So how are you present with regard in your relationships? What are you actually doing or hearing in that moment when you are speaking to someone else? Are you there in emotion? Uh, are you there reacting? Are you there um, interacting? Uh, or and, and are you there and getting kind of uh, caught up in what they're saying or what they're doing and being dragged along uh, because of your own feelings, or your own reaction to it? Or are you able to stand um, or with someone or have an interaction with somebody, have... Uh, whoever it is that you're interacting on a day-to-day -day basis with, whether it's a work colleague, whether it's a, a loved one, a, f a, f a family member, uh, an institution, a bureaucrat, uh, whoever it is that you're actually interacting with, are you able to simply be present in that moment enough to be able to understand that their perspective is not your perspective and what they are saying comes from a different place from what you are understanding and what you're perceiving and that you need not react emotionally or you need not react at all, but simply to observe what your inclination is towards um, reacting, like what kind of reaction would you have normally and just kind of stopping yourself at that moment and and whatever is being said, whatever is, whether it's something that's good or bad or neutral, whatever it is in your mind, can you stop yourself before you say something or before you react uh, emotionally and just observe that moment that you were about to react or what kind of reaction you were about to have because that is the kind of presence that you are advised to have within yourself right now. This is a kind of, there's a sense that that when you were able to control your your your, your thoughts or have um, it's not so much about controlling it is more it's more about being present in in your thoughts and being a viewer or an, or an observer in your own mind that you are able to truly be present in the world in another way and 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 that is the way in which you are being asked to be present at this moment so i don't know if that sounds confusing or whether i've articulated that um well enough but basically uh it's about finding levels of being present with yourself in your own thoughts and with others uh in a way that allows you to have a new uh a newer perspective or a different perspective or, or a different interaction uh with the world like how do you place yourself in this world and how do you place yourself within yourself and how can you do so in a in a way that is the most present so um, so I feel that this message has less to do with the Archangel Michael or um, or the presence that um, he uh, has in this world or the the, the the collective consciousness has in this world uh, has 
you know, the idea of him in this world. So I think it has less to do with, with our idea of what Archangel Michael is and what, and what our idea of his presence is in this world, but more to do with your own idea of your own, not idea, but your own presence in yourself. Okay, so I hope I haven't confused you there. And um, yeah, so give that some thought and see how it, it's relevant to you and see how that might actually influence the way in which you behave um, or react within with given situations in the in the days ahead or with the situation that you are dealing with at this moment. So I thank you for those of you who've come by and chosen um, this deck here, the Angels of Atlantis. And I'm moving on now to... The next deck, uh, which here, these are cloak cards. They're not actually oracle cards, Well, but I'm using them as oracle cards. So for those of you who've chosen this option here, what is it that you need to hear at this moment? What is it that, What what is your answer? What is the answer that you've come here for at this moment? So, yeah, the question we're asking is, what is it that you, the pile two, uh, those of you who've chosen the pile two have come here to hear today? Okay, I thought I had something there, but it doesn't feel ready. This is it. Okay, so we have the cloud here. We have this card right here. So what I'm hearing here is that this particular card has to talk about things that you cannot see right now or trying to understand something that is not really available at this moment for you to see clearly. So it's as if the situation that you're dealing with, that you're dealing with right now has actually, um, it doesn't have an answer at, at this moment in this space and time. You do not have the answer that you require. You, it is not, it is not available to you, and it's as if you you are sitting in a cloud, and you cannot see further. You cannot understand. And you, what you need to do in this situation is that you need to give it time for it to clear up. What I'm hearing here is that this is not within your um, your gambit. It's not within your reach. The the truth or the answer, the reality, the, the, the clarity is not within your reach right now. And there's nothing that you can actually do at this moment to be able to, to, to gain that, to be able to claim that, uh, to be able to understand what it is that you are seeking to understand. And that it's, you simply need to, to accept that and surrender to the, the situation that you're in at this moment. And with the continuum of space and time uh well as as time passes you will understand what you need to understand but it's simply not available at this moment and that you no matter what your efforts are you're still not going to be able to understand this simply because these clouds or this state that you need to, that you are in needs to clear up and um and it needs, it's like the sun needs to come out and, and, you know, and the clouds need to part in order for you to be able to understand this. And you can't, this, you're just not going to be able to do that until you, uh, you un, un, until a certain moment, right? So that's basically uh, the message that I'm getting here for you today. Um, and that there is value in being in this state. There is value in even though you're really eager to know this and you really need to have an answer, it's there's value in not knowing the answer at this moment and there's value in not seeking that or not 
desperately seeking that. I'm not saying every one of you is desperately seeking an answer to something specific, but uh, for those of you who are feeling like you really need to have this answer quite desperately and that it's important for you to have that, the, un the what the guidance here for you is that it's not that urgent. Um, you don't need to know this right now. It's okay to let this clear up by itself. And uh, it's okay to not know at this moment. And it's there's value in actually being in the state of not knowing because there's more there. In the state of not knowing, if you are in this cloud, if your head is in this cloud as I see it, um, like you can't see further, um, there is something within that that you need to see. There's something within this cloud. There's something there that needs to be discovered before you can actually uh, step out of it or before the clouds clear in order for you to be able to see what what you're looking for outside of you which is not yet clear so um that is all i'm getting for this card for today it's like your hands are tied right now and there's nothing actually that you can do but to accept the situation as it stands okay so that is my message for those of you who've chosen uh this deck for you for you today Thank you for coming by and I'm going to move on now to the third deck. So for those of you who've chosen the third deck here, the question we're asking today is what is the answer that you've come here for? What is it that you need to know right now about your given situation? And what is it that would help you resolve whatever it is that you need to resolve at this moment? Off you. Okay, it feels like this is the one. Um, so this card is called Princess Charming. It's the number 39. It says, I take the horse by the reins. And become my own princess charming taking care of my own needs so this card for me speaks about the empowerment that you need to give yourself at this at this moment um it's to me it's it's telling me that it's time to take charge of your your own needs and to be able to give yourself the love that you need to be able to give yourself what you've been waiting for another to give you to be able to give yourself that recognition that acknowledgement uh, that appreciation that you've been hoping to receive from another person or another uh, something outside of you, like an institution. It says that it's time for you to actually uh, stop waiting for that to come from the outside because what you're waiting from for uh, to come from the outside is never going to be packaged the way that you are hoping to receive it, but rather it's going to come in its own package and it's not it's going to be similar or it's going to be on some occasions not at all what you want but it, it's not going to be exactly what you need and in order to give yourself what you need in order to have what you need what uh to 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 actually experience what exactly what it is that you need you need to give you need to be the one who gives yourself that and it also talks about for me it also talks about n not waiting any longer um uh, have you put your life on hold? Have you put your life on pause and you are waiting for that person to come into your life or a particular moment when you have X, Y, and Z for you to actually start living? And what I'm hearing here is that it's not um, it's not the time to wait, okay? It's the time to actually take charge and to make it happen. And as the, the card says here, uh, take the horse by the reins, you know, take your life by the reins and ride it uh stop waiting for that special moment to, to wear that dress or to wear that suit or to to go and do what it is that you need to do or to um 
to spend the money the way you need to, you want to spend the money stop waiting for that but actually just go on and live this moment as if it was your last and live this moment as if your life would not be your own tomorrow and constantly remind yourself that you have a responsibility to do this for your life and uh and also bear the truth the bitter truth that it is actually no one else's responsibility but your own to take care of your own of your needs um so that is actually what i'm hearing right now with regard to this card um uh, this is another more specific message for perhaps one uh, or more person that's listening to this. But if you've been feeling disillusioned uh, by life or by yourself or tired, uh, exhausted, not not able to go on, not able to actually find your path uh, or not really able to take the horse by the reins because you just don't believe you can or you don't know how to anymore. Uh, it's been so long since you've been able to do that. Uh, well, what I'm hearing is that give yourself the chance to be able to feel what you're feeling right now and also just to allow yourself to to grieve and allow yourself to actually feel uh, the, the sadness that you're actually feeling uh, that needs to be let out of you, you know, because it's like you are you have this cloak on of sadness that and you don't need it anymore. And so you know you in order to walk forward and to to ride to take your your this horse by the reins you need to actually let go of that first in order to be able to begin so if you're feeling right now yeah i can't actually do what you're saying i can't actually do this i just don't feel empowered enough to be able to do so then embark on a process which allows you to empower yourself you know set out a plan in which you are actually going to be working with yourself to empower yourself and to actually help you get through this process, through this phase, so that you can actually get to that point where you are able to take life by the horns and um, or take this horse by the reins. Uh, but to live your life with a certain kind of gusto and with, uh, with, with the passion and to breathe life into you again, uh, because this is what you need, you know, this is what, what you, you actually need to come alive and to let all of you come alive again. So it's as if there's these, you know, you're decorated with all these lights, like this is, and each light in you, in you uh, or that you decorated with represents a different skill, a different ability, a different capacity, um, a different uh, talent that you have. And some of these lights are flickering and some of these lights are on and some of these lights are burning brightly, but a lot of them are actually off. And when you actually are able to work through your exhaustion and able to come overcome the sadness and this sense of despair or disillusionment that you may be experiencing, then this, when you do that, you'll be able to breathe again. And really breathe life into you. And when you breathe life into you, then I see that these bulbs or these lights that are all like that, that are covering you, they call they all light up and they are burning brightly. And this is actually where you need to get to, to this point at which you're burning brightly and that you're able to actually function in this world with uh with your full capacity, you know, function here and be here and live. Uh, an experience with 100%, not just uh, a, a part of you and not because you're tired or because you're feeling chipped away by uh, certain experiences that you've had, but actually just fully surrendering to this life that you have here. Uh, so that's the, the message that I have for you today. I also want to say that, uh, you know, the way, when I've been looking at this card, um, for some of the time that I've been channeling this message to you, I have been um, I've been seeing these the, the, these little dots here, as these lights, and uh, this is like your inner strength here, and your soul and the 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 life that you have. And this branch for me, it feels like you know in this in this blue light, it feels like uh, divine guidance that's always there and always holding you and always. Um, you know, at your side, or not actually at your side, but always like sort of above you, hovering over you and 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 caring for you. And so, you know, a lot of this needs to come from you and needs to happen from within you. But you also here um, have this guidance, you have this help from the outside uh, 
from whatever you believe is uh, beyond you. Uh, so that's my message for those of you who've chosen this deck here today. And I hope that resonates. I hope that helps you in some way. And uh, thank you very much for coming by. And uh, apologies once again for not being able to get you your Oracle card reading last week. And I'm wishing you uh, a very happy time ahead. Many blessings to you all.